chanterelles. <clears throat> this is my top secret chanterelle location and um, in a good year here in central Wisconsin I can find about a hundred pounds of chanterelles in about a quarter of an acre size area of the woods and um, I'll give you a little close-up view of some of these um, right now they're kind of getting toward the peak actually and this season has been abbreviated because of all the lack of rain uh, that we had through the month of June we finally got some good moisture here to begin July or mid July and now they started coming up but I don't think this is going to be a 100 pound year walk up through here and I'll show you some more I'm growing up in these trees here's some really nice ones really nice size there's one down in there obviously those are a little bit far gone but and slugs are starting to get to a few of these you can see up here there's a slug but the neat thing about chanterelles and what makes them last a lot longer than other fungus edible fungus is that they have some property in them that makes them or that uh, repels insects. So you don't get the, the beetles that you might get when you find boletes and um, chicken of the woods would be another example that really get hit hard by, by bugs, oyster mushrooms, but these don't tend to get hit by bugs at all. I'm just cruising through the woods, kind of showing you all the chanterelles that are growing in the forest floor here. So this is kind of a goofy season, and I wish I would have taken a video like this last year because while you're seeing a ton of chanterelles right now, and there's probably a good 20 pounds that I've walked through and kind of videoed, um, last year you would have seen three times this amount. So anyways, here's a one little lonely one just growing all by himself out here, a little leaf on top. So. Anyways, this is uh, my chanterelle spot, so hopefully that, uh, and these are all growing in mixed hardwoods in a pretty, it's probably a second growth forest, uh, pretty young woods, and um, I would say <clears throat> there was, like I said, 20 pounds out here. It's all mixed hardwoods, so you've got oak, maples. Uh, a lot of ash in here, a little bit of pine, um, as you can see behind me there's, and I think this is a fir, a fir, yeah, or a spruce, I'm not exactly sure, I think it's a fir, whatever, doesn't matter. So, um, they don't necessarily associate with any one type of tree, I used to think it was oaks and it's not, they'll grow in any mixed hardwoods, a lot of these are growing nowhere near oaks, so. Um, there's another spot uh, up the road a little bit here where I've got some more chanterelles growing and again they're not really associated with any specific tree so hope this helps and encourages uh, some mushroom hunters to take to the woods and try to find their very own chanterelles. Thanks, bye.